There's an exam in psychology, 10 days from today. These three girls, Janice, Barbara, and Patty, are going to need to study to get a good grade. Let's see how their study habits influence their test scores. Here we have Janice, reviewing the notes after class in a peaceful environment. This is an effective way to absorb the lecture material. Way to be like a sponge, Janice. Patty, on the other hand, is doing her homework for another class, just like she was in the psychology lecture. She has another test after her psychology exam. Will she manage to effectively study for both? I sure hope so. Barbara is taking her daily after-class nap, catching up on the sleep she didn't get the night before. Tisk tisk, Barbara. Seven days before the test. Let's see how the girls are doing. Janice is creating mnemonic devices to help her remember the material. A mnemonic device is a useful study tool to help remember large amounts of information with creative, memorized cues. Janice is recoding, taking information in one form and changing it to a more easily remembered form. Barbara is sleeping, not studying. Patty is doing laundry, one of the many tasks that is not studying. At least she'll have clean clothes to wear to the exam. Four days to go, Janice is using flashcards and is explaining the material out loud to herself. These methods help Janice to properly store the information, allowing for easy retrieval later. Patty is listening to loud music, which interferes with her concentration. Darnell Barbara is still sleeping. Things aren't looking good for Patty and Barbara. It's the night before the test. Janice casually looks over her notes, confident that she will do well tomorrow. She goes to bed early to make sure she gets a good night's sleep. Barbara has finally woken up and calls Patty for a late night study session. However, they don't seem to be getting very much studying done. Patty leaves to study for her other exam, which is also tomorrow. Good going, Patty. Barbara is left to pull an all-nighter alone. Don't be a Barbara, kids. It's test time. Let's see how the girls are doing on the exam. Janice is cruising right along. Patty is clearly struggling. Studying for the other exam seems to have caused retroactive interference. The other material is blocking what she knows about psychology. After an all-nighter, Barbara is struggling to stay awake but it's not like she knows the material anyway. The tests are graded and the results are in. Let's see how they did. Barbara has failed. No surprises there. Her study habits were non-existent. Patty has gotten a C-, a mediocre grade for mediocre study habits. And Janice has gotten an A+. Her study habits have clearly paid off. Everybody wants to be a Janice.